Strong winds and high tides have been lashing parts of Wales, Western England and Scotland as another storm batters our shores. At least nine severe flood warnings indicating a risk to life and a further 300 warnings and alerts are in place tonight in England and Wales. But the Environment Secretary, Owen Patterson, who chaired a COBRA meeting on the flooding earlier today, said that cuts to the Environment Agency's budget would not affect frontline flood services. Cordelia Lynch has been to flooded parts of the southwest to see just how bad it really is. We were warned there would be exceptional weather and there was dawn drama on the coast of Devon and Cornwall with winds whipping up vicious waves. The pumps at Perrinporth have already been out three times in just a year. But Loo and other coastal towns are used to a battering and by midday the harbour master was taking it in his stride. People probably don't appreciate how quickly, fortunately, the water can drain away too. No, once this tide starts running, you've got a five to six knot tide this weather and it sucks all the drains away and it clears all up quite quickly. So, you know, within a couple of hours, all, all, all the flood water had gone. Um, so it, it's just one of those things. And the, obviously the place is a bit cleaner, um, but it's just living by the coast, I'm afraid. Further inland, in places like Bristol, flood barriers warded off the worst of it, but the unions warned around 1,500 job losses at the Environment Agency could present further problems. The size of these cuts are unprecedented in terms of the agency's history, and what we're concerned about is the broad nature of those funding cuts means that all areas will be affected. So now the man who was talking about something exceptional yesterday is today in another war of words. This government is spending more on flood defences than any preceding government. We will be protecting 165,000 properties by 2015. We will have to deliver the manner in which we do that in an efficient manner. And the chief executive has made it quite clear that he will do that and will protect frontline services concerned with floods. But this afternoon near Chichester in Sussex, People were relying on bucket power and getting a pretty rough ride. And it seems it's the ripple effect of weeks of flooding that's taking its toll. Well, this is Sedgemoor in Somerset and it started flooding here about a fortnight ago. And at its deepest, it's around 14 feet. And the problem is it'll take a further two weeks to drain. And as more rain falls with each day, life gets a little slower and harder here. And you worried about the weekend? A bit, a bit. You would be if you lived where we do, I should imagine. We aren't getting the help we need. This is the problem. There's not the maintenance being done. It used to be maintained every year. They would dredge the river up until, what was that, 25, 26 years ago. No maintenance really of any consequence have been done since. In Wales, there were more promenades, few with chance a stroller. And no walkers means less business. There's a lot of people here to help after it's happened, but unfortunately there's not a lot of people to help to prevent it. Tonight, 18-year-old Harry Martin is missing. He left his home to take photographs of the storm and police and Coast Guard helicopters are now searching for him. Whatever you call this weather, there's more of it to come this weekend and with it comes plenty of risk and damage.